Does your mouse float or does the game stutter even though FPS is high? Most of the time that's not the GPU, it's the kernel doing short, heavy work on your behalf, DPCs. Today I'll show you five safe, practical steps to locate the driver causing DPC spikes and fix it for good. Registry tweaks, driver tuning, interrupt balancing, and a few tools to make it painless. Before we start, create a system restore point. Start type create a restore point, then system protection, then create. Make a quick full registry export for the keys we'll touch. I'll show the keys below. Close games and heavy apps while testing. Each change should be checked in a controlled test, a short play session, or measured benchmark. Step one, identify the DPC culprits, tools, and commands. Before you can fix something, you need to know what's causing the issue. Identifying the DPC, deferred procedure call, problems, often means pinpointing the exact driver or process responsible for stuttering. Here are two practical tools you can use to do this. Option A, latency mon, easy and direct. The first tool is Latency Mon, a straightforward option to get to the root of the issue. Download and install Latency Mon from Resplendence and run it as administrator. Once it's open, click on the Start button and let the tool run while you reproduce the stutter, whether that's by playing a video, gaming, or simply performing actions that cause the lag. After a couple of minutes, stop the test. Check the Drivers tab and sort the results by execution time or DPC count. This will show you which drivers are taking the most time or are generating the most interrupts. The drivers that pop up at the top of the list, along with their vendor, are likely the ones causing the problem. Once you know the culprit, you can look up driver updates or take steps to address it. Option B, Windows built-in check, quick scan. For a quicker check, you can use a built-in Windows tool. Open an elevated command prompt, run as administrator, and enter the following command. This will create an energy report and save it as an HTML file at the location specified. Open the report and look for any warnings related to device power state or processor idle policy. These warnings point to devices waking up or entering an idle state, which can often cause interrupts and stutter. It's not as detailed as LatencyMon, but it offers a broader look at system power issues. Why both? LatencyMon shows the exact driver. PowerCFG.Energy gives a quick systemic check. Use LatencyMon for depth. Step 2. Update, roll back, or replace problem drivers. Once you have the suspect drivers from step one, audio, network, USB, and storage drivers are the usual suspects. GPU is possible too. Go to Device Manager, find the device, right-click, Properties, Driver tab. Try Update Driver, then Browse My Computer, and Let Windows, or manually choose the vendor driver from the official website. If the newest driver started the DPC spikes, choose Rollback Driver. Optional but recommended for GPUs, if you suspect GPU driver corruption, use DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller in safe mode. Then install the latest clean WHQL driver from NVIDIA or AMD. DDU is safe if used carefully. Link in the description. For NICs and audio, prefer vendor drivers, Intel, Realtek, Qualcomm, Realtek audio packages, not the generic MS ones. Vendor drivers often fix DPC issues. Test. After each driver change, reboot and rerun LatencyMon for three to five minutes while gaming. If the DPC source moves or drops, you found it. Step three. Tune NIC USB audio driver properties. Many drivers have features meant to save CPU that add latency under real-time loads. Tuning these often reduces DPC spikes. Network adapters, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. 
To fine-tune your network adapter settings, navigate to Device Manager, Network Adapters, Properties, Advanced, and here you can disable several settings that are typically responsible for adding latency. Interrupt Moderation. Disabling this prevents the system from grouping multiple network interrupts together, which can delay processing during high-speed transfers. Energy Efficient Ethernet. Turning this off ensures the adapter doesn't enter power-saving modes that could increase latency during real-time tasks. Large Send Offload, or LSO. This setting offloads the task of segmenting large data packets to the NIC, which might result in higher latency under certain conditions. IPv4 or IPv6 checksum offload. Disabling checksum offloading reduces the reliance on the NIC for checksum calculations, which can introduce small delays. Receive Segment Coalescing, or RSC. This setting attempts to group multiple packets into a larger one, which can introduce a delay. It's best disabled for low latency use cases. USB, mouse or keyboard. Open Device Manager, Universal Serial Bus Controllers, right-click each USB root hub or generic hub, Properties, Power Management, uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. In Power Options, Advanced, USB Settings, USB Selective Suspend Setting, Disable for both AC and DC. Step 4. MSI slash IRQ Balancing and Kernel Timer Tweaks. Two lesser known but powerful levers, switching devices from shared line IRQs to MSI, message signaled interrupts, and stabilizing the system timer. A. MSI Mode. Use MSI Util V3. Safer than manual registry fiddling. Download and run MSI Util V3.exe as administrator. Trusted community tool. Find your NIC, GPU, and primary USB controller entries. Enable MSI mode for devices that show support. NICs and recent GPUs almost always do. Leave interrupt priority as undefined. Unless you have a simple system with very few devices, then you can test setting high priority only for your NIC or mouse. Why? MSI gives each device its own interrupt vector, avoiding shared line polling overhead that causes long DPCs. B. Stabilize the timer. Reduce timer jitter that amplifies DPC effects. In admin command prompt, reboot to apply. These change Windows timer behavior to a consistent high-precision mode. It reduces timer-related wake-ups that worsen DPC bursts. To revert, and then reboot. Test. Run latency mon again. You should see less variance and fewer extreme DPC peaks. Step 5. System registry tweaks to reduce DPC amplification and advanced troubleshooting. A few safe registry changes and monitoring tricks that reduce DPC amplification from paging, tracing, and throttling. A. Keep critical kernel code in RAM. Fewer page faults. Registry path. Disabled paging executive, D-word, set to 1 keeps NT kernel and drivers in physical memory to avoid page-in delays that can create DPC cascades. B. Reduce multimedia and network throttling that creates jitter. Registry path, network throttling index, D-word, set to 4F, disables throttling. System responsiveness, D-word, set to 0 gives foreground apps priority. C. Stop noisy tracing services safe. If latency mon or power FG energy points to telemetry or tracing, open services, services.msc, find connected user experiences and telemetry, diag track, and Windows error reporting service, Worserve. Set start to manual and stop them. 
Don't disable system critical services like RPC or DCOM. To revert, set start to automatic and start the service. If you follow these steps, you should see far fewer DPC spikes, smoother frame times, and fewer audio pops. Post your top offending driver from latency mon in the comments and I'll help you pick the right driver or setting. If you want, I can also package the safe registry edits and a small batch file to run the commands with clear revert instructions. Tell me in the comments. Like, subscribe, and if you want an advanced follow-up, I'll show how to use WPR, WPA, or Windows Performance Recorder plus Analyzer to create an actionable DPC trace you can submit to driver vendors. Play safe, keep backups, and happy smooth gaming.